Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Queen Rahmat. It's always a pleasure coming your way. A few days ago, I saw a story about a Zambian national who was called a foreigner by a Chinese person in his own country, Zambia. A black man called foreigner in his country, Africa, by a Chinese person. The same Chinese people who kicked out our brothers and sisters in their country and now they have followed up to come to our country to call us foreigners even in our own country I saw a lot of people sharing their opinions about it many of whom have been so angered by it I am personally angered by this but then instead of just coming out to share my reaction on it I decided to look into Zambia I decided to look into Zambia and that was the only time my attention was drawn to the fact that Zambia had a lot of Chinese presence and my goodness what I found based on what I have found about China Zambia relationship I am surprised I am surprised as to why Zambians have chosen now to cry out I'm surprised as to why Zambians are surprised by the fact that one of them is being called a foreigner in their country because if you ask me based on what i have found out about china zambia relationship i can say that china has taken over zambia that zambians have lost zambia to china that china has been uh, has taken over zambia a long time ago and they should not be surprised that one of them is being called a foreigner in their own country because that is what they have been for some time now that is what their leaders have done to them i'm sorry if i if this hurts i'm really sorry but i am so infuriated that's the only thing i can say please forgive me for talking this way a long long time ago our great grandfathers our chiefs our kings our businessmen who were called middlemen sold us out into slavery they gave their own people out in exchange for some things as minor as a mirror for something as minor as a shirt for things as minor as shoes they gave us out for things, things as little as wheat, as sugar, and all that, out of ignorance. It was all out of ignorance. That is forgivable. That is forgivable because they did that out of ignorance. But what is happening now is not forgivable. Our leaders know very well what they are doing. They know they are selling out their own people. They know they are destroying the future of the, the African generation. They know that, but their selfishness will not allow them to do the right thing. Their selfishness will not allow them to do the right thing. And for those of them who know, who are not selfish and who want to speak up for the African people, they are too weak to speak up. They are too weak to say anything. So they are just sitting by and watching our generation getting sold off like it happened to us generations ago. The same thing is happening again. Africa is getting colonized all over again this time tactically this time it is being done tactically by a common enemy the Chinese our African leaders have no way of running their own countries our African leaders with all the resources that Africa has, has no clue as to what to do with those resources, yet they leave those resources to go wasted and they run to Chinese people and they take loans upon loans upon loans, which they end up not being able to pay. The generations to come are going to be paying those loans and they are not going to finish paying them. And this is just a ploy by China to take over Africa once again. And our leaders know this and yet they play into their hands because of their selfishness Zambia has taken a lot of loans from China that they haven't been able to pay for so many years and because of that 
Zambia's electricity company has been taken over by China. Zambia's normal broadcasting corporation has been taken over again by China. Zambia's mines have been taken over by China. China has its own bank in Zambia. China has a bank in Zambia which takes money in Chinese currency. So it's an easy way for every Chinese person who lives in, in Zambia to just work and keep their money in their currency. It's just like living and working in China. That's what it's like for Chinese people living in Zambia. Advertisements are being advertised in Chinese languages with total disregard for the Zambian people and nobody is saying anything about this. The electricity company has been taken over by China and nobody is doing anything about it. The airport, the Zambian airport, the national asset of Zambia, the Zambian airport has been taken over by China. It has been taken over by China. Electricity company of Zambia taking over by China, the airport taking over by China, the national broadcasting corporation of Zambia taking over by China, the mines, national mines of Zambia taking over by China. And you still call yourself a Zambian. Why wouldn't the Chinese call you a foreigner in Zambia? Because Zambia is theirs. They have bought and paid for it. You don't own it anymore. Zambia is no longer for the Zambian people. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to wake up? It's about time, people. It's not too late. We can still reclaim it. The worst thing that can happen to Africa is recolonization. It has happened to Zambia already. The rest of Africa has to wake up. We have to take back everything we have lost already, starting with not taking loans from China, starting with not taking petty favors from China. And what we hear is, it's a China-Africa cooperation. Where is, where is the cooperation happening? There is nothing like a cooperation happening that we work together and we win together. We are not winning together. They are just winning. They are using us. China invites African leaders to a China-African summit. And where are the African leaders sitting? Behind the Chinese people. All the African leaders are sitting behind the Chinese people. So it's just like a bus being driven by Chinese people. And then the Africans are just sitting in the back and they have nothing. They have no control of, as to where the bus goes. Whether it turns left or right, they have no control. They are just sitting in. They are just the passengers. They make no contribution. Affairs are being run by Chinese and you call it a cooperation. It's only in Africa that when somebody agrees to give a government, a certain government or a certain country some loans, it becomes a jubilation, pomp and pageantry that yes, we have been able to secure a loan with China. Is Getting Zambia indebted has become a form of, uh, it has become Zambia. something we need to celebrate. Where in the world will this happen if not in Africa? We are better than this. We have all the resources. We have all the resources. China wished they were Africa. They wish Africa was China and China was Africa. We have all this and yet we don't see it. We don't know how to use it. Let's wake up. What's even more surprising, what's shocking for me is that Zambia at a point recruited Chinese police people in their country. Zambia at a point in time recruited Chinese police people in their country to work for their country Chinese police people how can where can this happen that you go to China and you see African policemen representing Africa in China who will allow this and yet the Zambian government at the time agreed to do that until the Zambian youth cried out before they were finally removed. If the only language that the African leaders understand is an outcry, 
then let's rise up people let's rise up Africa we need to make this happen one way or another we cannot risk a recolonization the youth of Zambia we are with you the rest of Africa is with you the rest of Africa is with you if it is happening to Zambia and we don't rise up to stop this next thing you know it's going to happen in South Africa next thing you know is going to happen in another country and before it gets to my homeland Ghana there will be nobody to do something about it that is why I am standing up today from Ghana and I am asking every black person on the face of this planet it doesn't matter where you find yourself in the UK in the US wherever it is you find yourself once you're black it concerns you rise up with us if the only language our leaders understand is an outcry we are crying out now this nonsense must stop this has to stop we have to put an end to this kind of nonsense I'm called a foreigner in my own country so where else do I get to be a national where else do I get to be an indigen if I have lost my own country to China where else can I call home let's rise up Africa for all the youth of Zambia I'm sorry for being so hard on you we are with you we are standing up with you and this nonsense has to stop closing down the restaurant is just the beginning we want to see more and more the best places in Lusaka are owned by Chinese the best places in Lusaka are owned by Chinese businesses you name them everything is owned by Chinese it's time for us to reclaim what belongs to us. This reminds me of a video I saw of an Australian woman who is married to a Ghanaian who said that China has an agenda to wipe out Africa and make Africa their home by 2040. I kind of thought it was going to happen. Yes, it will happen, but maybe in 2100. But no, it's happening sooner than we expect. We have to rise up. This generation is more discerning. This generation is more outspoken. And we are going to cry out. We are going to rebel. We are not going to stand by and watch this happen to us. We will kick against every oppression. We will kick against any form of recolonization. Whoever is spearheading it should be ready for us. We are coming and we are coming to reclaim everything that belongs to us. Come rain, come shine, Africa must win. Come rain, come shine, Africa will wake up. Rise up Africa, wake up Africa. Thanks for watching. My name is Queen Rahmat.